Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys a really awesome program that was released by I Hate Snow Today, who is also the developer of a popular jailbreak utility called Snowbreeze. Now, basically what this allows you to do is back up the SHSH blobs for the firmware that your device is on right now. So, this doesn't have to be the latest firmware that Apple is still signing SHSH blobs for, which makes this so great. However, if you are on the latest firmware, you cannot download SHSH blobs for previous firmwares. So, for instance, if you want to get 4.2.1, you have to actually be on 4.2.1. You can't be on 4.3.3 and expect to get 4.2.1 SHSH blobs. With that being said, all you have to download is iFaith, which will be down below in the more info. And by the way, iFaith is Windows only for the moment. So once you have it downloaded, it is in a zip format. So all you have to do is open it up and then you just have to run the iFaith Dot exe and you can either do that by extracting it or running it straight in your RAR extracting program. So once you have it opened up, all you have to do is hit OK to that message and then hit dump SHSH blobs. And then from there, it's just telling you that you will have to be inside of DFU mode and it also tells you which firmwares it works for right there and which devices it works for as well. However, as I mentioned before, you have to actually be on that firmware for it to work for you. Once you have read that, and once you've acknowledged it, you can hit proceed. And then from there, after you have looked over the credits, you can just hit let's go. And then if you're on Apple TV 2, hit yes to this question. If you're not, just hit no. And then it's just telling you to turn off your device so you can start the DFU mode uh, process. However, we are going to enter DFU mode ahead of time. All you have to do is hold down the home and power button together on your device for a total of 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, simply let go of the power button and continue holding the home button. Now, your screen will stay black, so uh, don't expect it to actually go to that iTunes logo with the USB plugged into it. Now, iTunes should actually pop up when you have successfully entered DFU mode. Now, we don't exactly care if iTunes is open or not. You can leave it open if you want, but if it bugs you, you can close out of it as well. Just know that it might open up again throughout this process. Then, once you have successfully entered DFU mode, you can hit start, and it will start to go through the preparation. However, we've already entered DFU mode, so it will skip past that, and now it's just going through the process. Now, as you can see down below, it tells you what it is actually at, how many SHSH blobs it's captured, and also, too, what stage it is at over in the left-hand side. Now, I already have my SHSH blobs saved, and once you get to a certain part, it will actually ask you where you want to save your SHSH blobs. Now, I don't exactly care about that because I already have mine saved, and it will save your SHSH blobs as in, uh, I faith file so it's just not really a file because you have to actually use I faith to get it to do anything so once you have your I faith file SHSH blobs then you can simply open up I faith and from there all you have to do is hit OK to that again and then simply hit build signed IPSW with blobs then from there browse for your SHSH blobs and again it will ask you where to save them, and I recommend the desktop. Once you have found it, then all you have to do is hit open, and then from there it will recognize your blobs and tell you which firmware to browse for, and if you don't have it, it even lets you download it. Now, if you're on a new computer, the great thing is is that you can actually download them from the iFaith server. So you can click show available SHSH caches on server and then all you have to do is plug in your device. It doesn't matter if it's in recovery mode or if you just have your device plugged in on the home screen. It will work no matter what and then you get a drop down menu of which blobs you have backed up and then you can simply hit download selected blob. So I hope you guys like this video. It's just me showing you guys the new iFaith program and telling you guys how you can actually 
save your SHSH blobs for older firmwares. So remember to rate this video up if it helped you. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.